Hey y'all, welcome back to another video with Crafted Cosmos. Today we're going to dive into the Apple MacBook ecosystem and I'm going to show you how to put your MacBook into closed display mode or I call it clamshell mode. Now, this is a big game changer whether you're a seasoned Apple veteran or you're a newbie to the Apple products in general. This can really increase your productivity so let's jump on into it now. So the only real requirement for this to work is you have to have a 2015 or newer MacBook Pro. If you have a 2015 or before, this is not going to work because it has to have the USB-C or the Thunderbolt 3 ports to work. So the very first step you have to have to use clamshell mode is you have to have this plugged into your charger. This will not work if it's just using the battery. Now back in the day, people used to worry about what was called overcharging. That's pretty much whenever the batteries can like always constantly being charged and it degrades the battery over time. Nowadays though, Apple has an auto battery cutoff. So what happens is when you have this charger plugged in all the time, it goes to 100%, lets it degrade down to 80% and then back up to 100%. So there's no worries about overcharging your battery. So once you have your charger plugged into your MacBook, you really only need the correct cable. Now it really depends on what kind of extra monitor you're going to use. So for my, for instance, I'm using a gaming monitor and that has a display port. Now most TVs, like if you want to use your 4K TV, they're probably going to have probably like an HDMI cable. So the big thing with the MacBooks are they really only have USB-C ports on them. So if you're going to use your TV, you're probably going to have to use an HDMI cable. So what you're going to have to do is go to Best Buy or go to Amazon and buy a USB-C to HDMI adapter so that you can plug the correct cable into your laptop and the TV. Now for me, mine has a display port. Most gaming monitors are going to have a display port. So I bought a USB-C to a display port cable, plug that USB-C into my laptop, and then plug the display port into my external monitor. Then all you have to do from there is just close your laptop, and once that happens, it automatically will activate clamshell mode. Once your laptop's done in clamshell mode, you're going to need a few more accessories to actually be able to use the laptop. Because once you close the clamshell mode and you actually close the laptop, you're no longer going to have access to your touchpad or your keyboard, which is a huge problem if you're trying to put input into the device. So you're going to have to have a keyboard, and you're also going to have to have a mouse. So the big thing with the new MacBooks are they only have USB-C. So I highly recommend getting a Bluetooth device, so a Bluetooth keyboard like the one that I have here, or a Bluetooth mouse like my gaming mouse that I have right here. Now the big issue, like I said, on the MacBooks are they only have USB-C. So a lot of brands still use USB 3.0s like my Logitech gaming mouse. So what you're going to have to do is buy an adapter. So that's why I highly recommend getting any devices that are Bluetooth because you're not going to use up any of your USB-C ports on your laptop. You're going to have those open to connect different devices such as like an external drive or something of that nature and you're not going to be taking up space that's not needed. Clamshell mode is the perfect way to utilize a bigger screen. That's how come whenever I actually bought my new MacBook, I went with the 14 inch instead of the 16 inch because I knew I was going to use my gaming monitor and have a bigger screen or I was going to go to my living room and use it on my, you know, 40, whatever, 48, 52 inch TV. Um, I do think that there's only one caveat to using the clamshell mode and that is actually if you're really big into like doing heavy gaming sessions or doing like a lot of heavy lifting for like video and photo editing, I think that the laptop can get a little hot. Now with the desktop I have here, it's got a lot more space in it, it's got a, more fans, it can circulate the air a lot better. A laptop's going to be way more condensed and carry more heat, but like I said, I think you're going to have to be doing a lot of heavy photo editing. And, or, or gaming because I clearly for YouTube do my editing on my MacBook and I have had an issue but I think if you're spending a lot of hours and hours and using a lot of juice then it could potentially be a problem. So really when it comes down to it, all putting your Mac showing a clamshell mode is having the power adapter connected and having the correct actual cable whether it be HDMI or display port and then actually having an extra monitor whether it be a gaming monitor or whether that be your TV in your living room, kitchen, bedroom, whatever you want to use it. So I hope this helped you out, and for future videos, for MacBook tips, tricks, tutorials, be sure to check me out. I appreciate y'all. Subscribe, and we'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace.